In this quick video, I will be sharing a very helpful Revit hack with you to fix this annoying error when loading custom pattern files into Revit. Before we get started, let me give you some basic info about drafting versus model patterns in Revit. Drafting patterns represent designs that you want to show in your drawings in Revit. So they will change size when you change the scale of your drawings. On the other hand, model patterns represent the actual size of the pattern. So they won't change when you adjust the scale. Sometimes when you load a custom pattern into Revit, you see an error saying no model type patterns found. Let's see how we can fix this. First, let's download a pattern from this free hatch patterns website. Let's download this break pattern. I'm going to extract or copy this file to a different folder. Before loading it into Revit, let's open this file in Notepad. And I'm going to add this code after the first line to indicate that this file has a model type pattern. Now let's save it. And I'm going to load this pattern into Revit as a model type. And you are good to go. Sometimes you may receive a warning that the values are too large. In such cases, simply reduce the import scale and you will be all set. Model patterns are easily selectable. You can add dimensions to them and rotate them as needed. And you can use arrow keys to make precise adjustments. This way you can create the accurate size of your custom patterns in Revit. So that's all I wanted to share with you in this video. If you found it helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. If you are interested in learning advanced 3D modeling in Revit, be sure to check out my website learnrevitonline.com. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.